So yesterday, Raila Odinga was expected to chair the Azimio crisis meeting following the mounting resistance from his political activities and also the split and the bitter fallout within Azimio by the Mount Kenya faction. So let me read for you this particular statement that was made by the communications director, which says that party leader Raila Odinga will chair the Azimio meeting at the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Foundation, which will result in uniting leaders and developing a roadmap for national transformation and seeking the solutions for the national problems. Now, this particular meeting here comes exactly a day after Martha Karua and the Mount Kenya Azimio leaders officially launched the Kamwene Leadership Caucus at Fungamano House. I want you to listen very briefly to Martha Karua's speech explaining what the Kamwene Caucus is all about. Then we proceed. Just listen. And it is for us to talk about, about our interests, political, economic, social, cultural, spiritual. Uh, spiritual, and also to unite us so that we solidify our voice. We are not talking about elections. We are talking about the unity of the people of Mount Kenya. And Kalonzo Musioka is our brother. We are in Azimio to stay but we still have Kamwene caucus to caucus about Mount Kenya. The we're not about uh, is uh, the region and the interests of the region. And uh, just for clarity, uh, politics is about interests. So uh, those detractors who, who get uh, edgy simply because the mountain is acting together, uh, politics is about interest. And we, the people of the mountain, stand up in the Republic of Kenya to state our case. So Martha Karua's move simply explains the fallout and the split within Azimio. And I tend to think that that would have been the first agenda of Raila Odinga to address, to ensure the unity within Azimio. And secondly, I strongly believe that Raila Odinga would have talked about endorsement of the Wipa Party leader, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, because recently, Martha Karua also made a statement concerning Raila Odinga endorsing Kalonzo Musioka. And you could tell from her tone that she was not really comfortable about Raila Odinga's move. Let me read for you this particular statement that Martha Karua made concerning Raila Odinga endorsement to Kalonzo Musioka. She says that, My leader Raila Odinga clarified the matter of endorsing Kalonzo Musioka. But let's assume he indeed endorsed Kalonzo. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. He is entitled to endorse whoever he chooses, but that does not lock the doors for anyone else. The power is within the people. And also thirdly, I tend to think that Raila Odinga would have talked about the bipartisan talks. Remember, Raila Odinga recently made it very clear that the Azimio will not sign the final agreement of the talks if there is no cost of living being talked about or being addressed in the bipartisan talks. Let me read for you also this particular statement from Martha Karua who says that I am very uncomfortable with the bipartisan talks. The William Ruto's regime is buying time. We are dealing with very slippery characters in William Ruto's regime, starting with himself. Any serious talks will not last more than 30 days. And remember, I've always said this, and I will repeat it again. I strongly believe that Martha Karua and the Azimio leaders from the larger Mount Kenya region officially launching the Kamwene Leadership Caucus, they are just seeking for the tribal political relevance. They have come to realize that they cannot make it in the national politics. So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. But from the look of things, it seems that even the people of the larger Mount Kenya region have already rejected that move by Martha Karua. But this particular meeting that was expected to be convened by Raila Odinga did not happen and Raila Odinga was forced to reschedule that meeting. So in this particular video here, I just want to explain to you the details deeply and the reasons behind Raila Odinga's decision.
to reschedule that particular meeting but before that if you're watching me up to this point i'm requesting you to please take a second or two and subscribe to this channel and also give this video a like so that youtube can automatically recommend also this platform to reach out to others there are also my returning subscribers who are currently watching i really want to appreciate you so much for your continued support feel very much welcome as you watch and i really don't take the support for granted you can also receive the notifications updates automatically from youtube itself immediately i post a video on this channel by pressing the notification bell having said that now let us go straight into the details of this particular meeting let me ask you this question why do you think Raila Odinga was forced to reschedule that particular meeting in my considered opinion there are three major reasons first of all it is because of Martha Karua and the Mount Kenya leaders boycotting that event according to the information that I have is that out of all the Mount Kenya region leaders who are invited to attend that particular meeting it is only one person who confirmed that he will be attending only Wangi Wairia alone other leaders including Martha Karua Jeremy Kioni Peter Munya and the rest also Nderitu Muridi did not confirm their attendance so to avoid embarrassment Raila Odinga had to cancel that meeting and he had to reschedule it you know one character of Martha Karua is that she does not know how to hide anything if she is not comfortable with any issue she will just make her own political steps or her own moves so let us wait and see how things will turn out to be and secondly I strongly believe that Raila Odinga was forced to cancel this particular meeting simply because he is basically giving up on Azimio Longoja Alliance ahead of the 2027 general elections. At this stage of time, you cannot resuscitate Azimio Longoja Alliance. Azimio is completely finished. The main purpose of Azimio Longoja Alliance was to make Raila Odinga the president in the year 2022 general elections. But now that Raila Odinga did not managed to become the president another political formation another new agreement must be made therefore for Raila Odinga to manage to unite all these leaders he can simply do that by forming another political alliance another political formation so that a new agreement a new MOU to be signed by these leaders Raila Odinga and these Azimio leaders are still using their interests the MOUs that they signed previously ahead of the 2022 general elections and that simply explains as to the reason as to why very many leaders have already quitted the Azimio Longoja alliance and thirdly and also finally I strongly believe that Raila Odinga was forced to cancel this particular meeting simply because it was a total waste of time honestly speaking do you think that Raila Odinga would have achieved his objectives at this particular meeting remember what the communications director talked about the main two agendas of this particular meeting was uniting leaders and developing a roadmap for national transformation do you think that Raila Odinga will have managed to unite as a new leaders I don't think so and also developing a roadmap for national transformation do you think that Azimio can still succeed to transform this country in any way? I don't think so. And also seeking solutions to national problems. Do you think that Raila Odinga or Azimio can lead to seek the solutions to the problems that are facing Kenyans? I don't think that would have happened. So basically, this particular meeting would have been a total failed mission. So let us wait and see if Raila Odinga will have to provide for us a new date for that meeting to occur. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening to me. Until next time, my name is Jason, but please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.